Hello everyone. I'm now at Haneda Airport Terminal 1. I'm heading to Kumamoto Prefecture and Takachiho Gorge in Miyazaki Prefecture. The prefectures are located in the region known as Kyushu and it takes about 1 hour and 40 minutes by plane from Tokyo. Kyushu is a region with delicious cuisine and abundant nature. Among such places, Takachihokyo Gorge is famous as a place where gods have existed since ancient times in Japan, and I'd like to introduce such a mysterious place to you all. First, I'd like to fly to Kumamoto and then drive to Takachihokyo Gorge. In this video, I hope to show you the attractive points of Kumamoto with its nature, history, and delicious food before going to Takachihokyo Gorge. Now, I'd like to use the lounge to wait until my flight departs. This time, instead of the lounge operated by the airline, I'd like to use the lounge that is free of charge if you have a specific credit card. Let's go there now! Here is the power lounge. The day I used it was a holiday, so it was crowded. There are simple beverages available, and you can drink as much as you want. There are coffees and juices, but alcohol is charged. They also offer bread and other snacks in the morning hour. The desks are also equipped with power outlets, which is very helpful. It's very convenient because you can wait until boarding while watching the airplane up close. This lounge can be used by anyone who pays a fee, which is 1,100 yen per adult. Some airline lounges are expensive or you need to have a certain status to enter, but this lounge is very reasonably priced. It might be a good idea to use this lounge for a break. Now I like to wait for boarding. This time, I'll be flying with Japan Airlines, a one-world member airline, to Kumamoto. All seats in the economy class and leather, and they are wide, so it's easy to sit down. Now, I'd like to head to Kumamoto. I've arrived at Kumamoto Airport. It seems that Kumamoto is collaborating with the anime One Piece. There are One Piece statues all over Kumamoto. Right now, Kumamoto Airport is renovating the terminal and it will be a temporary building. The renovated airport is scheduled to open in March 2023. Then, I'd like to head to Aso in Kumamoto. Aso has an active volcano called Mount Aso and the scenery is very beautiful. If the weather is good, we'll be able to bring you to the crater and grasslands. So let's go there. This time, I'd like to land a car and go around each place. We are going to a place called Kusasen Rigahama in Aso. It takes about 45 minutes from the airport. We are going to the opposite side of Kumamoto City. To get there from Kumamoto City, you can either join a tour or take a train to Aso Station and then take a bus to the top of the mountain. Since you cannot go get there from the airport by train, we recommend it that you take a tour, a bus, or a rental car. Even if you rent a car, it's not that difficult to drive because there is not much traffic. We have another video on how to rent a car in Japan, so please check that out as well. In the grassland area spreading at the foot of mount, the grass is thick now in summer and if the weather is good, you can see magnificent scenery. Since it's on top of a mountain, the road is a mountain road but the view was very nice even from the car. I was worried about the weather because it was raining heavily the day before we came, but when we were driving on the road, it was fine. 
It's very beautiful because of the panoramic view. There is a horse riding club nearby, so there are horses too. Over there is Mount Aso. You can see it beautifully. It seems that it's still active and erupts occasionally. We are now at Ksasenrigahama. The weather is changeable because we are on top of the mountain. It was sunny until a few minutes ago, but then it started to fog up. I parked my car in the parking lot and would like to walk through the meadow. The path was quite bumpy and there was horse manure in places, so I had to walk carefully. I heard that when it rains heavily here, water collects in the hollows. It was raining heavily yesterday, so the rain water is pooling. It's very beautiful. I moved to the top of the hill. From the top, the water is very clean and large. It's not deep, but it's very big because it's just pooling in the hollow. It looks like we can go a little, little further up the hill, so let's go on foot. We made it to the top of the hill, even though it was raining and the food hold was not good. The view is a little bit poor because of the hog, but it's still beautiful, isn't it? We walked about 10 minutes from the parking lot. The parking lot looks small. You can see the view from the hill. Now, I'd like to return to the parking lot. When I was about to return, the fog became so thick that I couldn't see anything in front of me. Here is place to experience horse riding near the parking lot. This is a map of Mount Aso. If it had been a beautiful sunny day, we would have been able to show you a view like this. It's a little disappointing. We moved to see the crater area, but could not go in due to strong winds. It's a pity because the weather is getting clearer. There was a souvenir shop nearby, so I would like to go in. They have Kumamoto's specialty products. Kumamoto is famous for its mustard lotus root and horse meat dishes. I will summarize Kumamoto's gourmet food and put them out in a later video, so please look forward to that as well. Soft ice cream was also available at the store. I bought volcanic ash soft cream and green tea soft cream. It was nice to have soft, cream, soft ice cream while enjoying the view. The volcanic ash soft ice cream was sesame flavored and very tasty. The matcha was quite strong, so you might either love it or hate it. You can eat it while enjoying the breeze outside, so please buy it when you visit. Now, I'd like to go back to Kumamoto City while enjoying the scenery scenery of Aso. Next, I'd like to introduce Kumamoto Castle in the city. It will take about 1 hour and 30 minutes by car from Kusasenrigahama to Kumamoto Castle. There are many castles in Japan, 
And Kumamoto Castle is one of the most famous because it's very large and has a magnificent replica of the castle tower. The castle was rebuilt around 1600 by a warlord named Kiyomasa Kato. This was around the time Tokugawa Ieyasu, previously introduced in the Nikko section, established the shogunate in Edo. As the castle was built by a warlord in the Sengoku Jidai, warring state period, it was equipped with various devices for warfare. About 200 years later, in 1874, the castle was the site of a siege during the Seinan War, said to be the last large-scale civil war in Japan. 4,000 government troops hold up in the castle and withstood an attack by 14,000 rebel troops. Recently, the castle was partially damaged by an earthquake, but the restoration work is underway at the rabbit pace. This time, I hope to introduce such a famous castle in Japan to you. As we were talking, we entered Kumamoto City. There is also a streetcar running, which is rare in Japan. I would like to visit Kumamoto Castle. I arrived at Kumamoto Castle. I like to buy a ticket and enter the castle. Kumamoto Castle is about 10 minutes by train from Kumamoto Station. I'll take the tram I mentioned earlier. The downtown area of Kumamoto is near Kumamoto Castle, so it might be a good idea to go out for dinner after seeing Kumamoto Castle. はい。there was a ticket that includes Kumamoto Castle and the surrounding museums, but since we didn't have time, we decided to just go to Kumamoto Castle this time. The price was 800 yen. Some of the stone walls have collapsed due to the, the earthquake. The situation work is progressing quite well, but there are still some parts that have not been repaired yet. It was quite a walk from the ticket booth. Here is Kumamoto Castle. The castle keep was destroyed by fire and war, so it's a reconstruction. Inside is a museum where you can learn about the history of Kumamoto Castle. The entrance is narrow enough to prevent enemies from attacking the castle. The historical books, the history of Kumamoto Castle, and the huge model of the castle. The explanations are in Japanese. If you want to enjoy the explanations, you may want to borrow an English or Chinese audio guide. These models are very elaborate and really amazing. There are also panels in English and Chinese so it's a good place to learn about the history of Kumamoto Castle. They will also quiz about Kumamoto Castle. Old photos of Kumamoto Castle are also on display. 
The most surprising thing I learned about Kumamoto Castle was that there is a legend that the walls of the castle were made of something that could be eaten in preparation for seeds. In fact, there is no record of anyone eating the walls, but it's a very railroad like idea to always be prepared for emergencies. This is the castle town of Kumamoto Castle. Armor and firearms were also on display. I was not sure if they were actually used or not. So, while looking at the exhibits, we climbed to the top of the castle tower. The place where I had just captured Kumamoto Castle from the front looks small. If the weather had been a little better, we could have had a beautiful view of Kumamoto City. I climbed down from the Kumamoto Castle's cape. Kumamoto Castle is a big castle, so if you include the museum, it should take about two or three hours to visit the whole castle. Please try to decide on a tour route that fits your travel schedule. Finally, I'd like to end by introducing the hotel where we will be staying in Kumamoto. I'd like to stay at the ANA Crown Plaza Kumamoto Hotel. The hotel is located between Kumamoto Station and Kumamoto Castle. It's an all Nippon Airlines affiliated hotel that is a Star Alliance member. It's also an IHG affiliated hotel of the Intercontinental Hotel Group. There is a direct bus service to Kumamoto Airport from the bus stop right in front of this hotel, so it's very convenient. Here is the hotel. Now then, I like to check in. Although the hours are fixed, it seems that a free coffee service is also offered. This kind of service is very nice. The room is on the ninth floor. We'll be staying for two nights, and the room rate for one person for the first night was uh, 11,000 yen without meals and 8,800 yen for the second night. Prices vary depending on the day of the week you stay, so please check. Now, here is our room. It's a beautiful room. In addition to the bed, there is a sofa and desk, so it's easy to work. Pajamas are also provided, so it's a great way to cut down on travel luggage. The view is also very nice. The bathroom is a little small, but it's clean and dear body soap and shampoos. There is also a wide selection of amenities, which is very helpful. This time I'd like to stay two nights at this hotel. We now head downtown for the night, which I hope to tell you about in the gourmet section. In our next video, I'd like to visit the mysterious Takachifokyo Gorge so please look forward to it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. If you would like me to introduce any other places in Japan, I will be happy to see your comments. See you in the next video. Goodbye!